Hi everyone, welcome back to another story time. Today, we are going to learn all about snakes. Did you know that some snakes can fly? Or that others can swim like fish? We're going to explore some of the most fascinating snakes on Earth. Let's go! We all know that snakes have no legs, but did you know they can move in four different ways? They can slither, swim, climb, and move sideways. Unlike us, snakes don't blink. Instead, they have clear scales over their eyes. So that means they can't close their eyes when they sleep. Can you imagine sleeping with your eyes open? Not me. Unlike humans and many other animals, snakes do not have external ears. This might make you wonder, how do they hear anything at all? Well, they have an internal ear structure connected to their jawbone. They detect sounds through vibrations in the ground or water. Here's how it works. When a sound or movement happens nearby, it creates vibrations in the surface the snake is touching. These vibrations travel through the snake's lower jawbone, which constantly interacts with the ground. The jawbone is directly connected to the columella, a tiny bone inside their head that acts like an eardrum. The columella sends signals to the snake's brain, allowing it to hear through vibrations. But what about airborne sounds? Well, while their primary way of hearing is through vibrations, some studies suggest that snakes can detect low-frequency airborne sounds. This means they might hear deep rumbles or human voices at a low pitch, but not high-pitched noises like birds chirping. So, here's a question. Why do you think this would be important for snakes? Well, one, it helps them detect predators approaching. Two, it alerts them to moving prey, especially small animals running or burrowing. And three, it allows them to communicate in subtle ways, like sensing the movement of other snakes nearby. So we've seen many snakes so far, so here's a question. Which snake do you think is the coolest? Stay till the end to find out which snake is the weirdest. An important point to remember is that some snakes have venom. Why? Well, to hunt their food and stay alive. Here are a few of the most famous ones. The King Cobra, the longest venomous snake. It can raise part of its body high and can grow up to 19 feet long. It can weigh as much as 28 pounds, about the weight of an average toddler. The Rattlesnake. These snakes make a warning sound with their tail before striking. If the rattlesnake loses a fang or tooth, it can replace it within two weeks. How amazing is that? Black Mamba One of the fastest and deadliest snakes in the world. Two drops of venom from these snakes can be life-threatening, depending on where it bites. These snakes can have up to 20 drops of venom in their fangs. What about other snakes that don't use venom? Non-venomous snakes use muscles to squeeze their prey. Let's take a look at some of those. The boa constrictor. These snakes wrap around their prey and squeeze until it can no longer survive. Many people think boa constrictors crush bones when they squeeze their prey. But that's a myth. Instead, they cut off the animal's blood flow so quickly that it loses consciousness in seconds. Studies show that they can apply deadly pressure in just a few seconds, stopping blood flow. The Corn Snake Corn snakes are one of the most popular pet snakes and are also helpful to humans in the wild. Corn snakes hunt by constriction, wrapping around their prey and squeezing just enough to stop it from escaping. They use their forked tongues to smell their surroundings. Corn snakes look similar to the venomous copperhead snake, which helps them avoid predators. But don't worry, they are completely harmless to humans. Garter snakes. These snakes have good eyesight and can spot movement easily. 
Once they find their target, they strike fast with their sharp teeth. Unlike venomous snakes, garter snakes use their venom to make the prey weaker, and in turn, easier to swallow. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the superpowers snakes may have. Camouflage Masters The green tree python is almost invisible in the jungle. The Gaboon Viper has colors that look just like fallen leaves. Their leaf-like pattern and wide triangular head provide excellent camouflage, which blends into the forest floor. And next, Flying Superpower. Did you know some snakes can glide through the air? Take a look at the Paradise Tree Snake. It can jump from tree to tree. Before taking off, a flying snake spreads out its ribs, making its body almost twice as wide. This shape acts like a parachute, helping the snake stay in the air longer. How awesome is that? Sea snakes like the yellow-bellied snake are great swimmers and spend around 90% of their lives underwater. This snake has a potent neurotoxic venom, which it uses to paralyze fish before swallowing them whole. Although it's dangerous, it rarely bites humans unless threatened. You might now be wondering, which snake is the largest and smallest? Well, the reticulated python and the green anaconda are a close tie. The reticulated python is the world's longest snake, reaching lengths over 30 feet or about 10 meters. The green anaconda is the heaviest snake, with adults often weighing around 550 pounds or 250 kilograms. They can grow to more than 29 feet long. These snakes generally avoid human contact, but love to hang out in water. Look at their eyes and nasal passages. They're on the top of their heads. This is so they can keep their heads above water without being recognized as they wait for food. Now let's take a look at the smallest snake. The Barbados thread snake is smaller than a spaghetti noodle. These snakes grow to about four inches long and are found in Barbados. They are considered endangered, mainly due to deforestation. Okay, let's now look at some snake myth busters and facts. Number one, snakes chase people, false. They're more scared of us than we are of them. Number two, all snakes lay eggs, false. Only about 70% of snakes lay eggs while around 30%, like rattlesnakes, give birth to live babies. Number four, snakes dislocate their jaws to swallow their prey, false. Snakes have super flexible jaws, thanks to special ligaments that stretch. Their jaws are not fused together like ours, meaning they can open their mouths way wider than we can. And three, snakes smell with their tongues. True, they taste the air to figure out what's around them. So, which snake do you think is the weirdest? Well, most will say the hairy bush viper. These snakes love to live in trees in the rainforest. Hairy bush vipers have potent venom that they use to take down small prey, like frogs, lizards, and birds. But they are rare and secretive, so they almost never come into contact with humans. And here's one last super cool fact. Hairy bush vipers come in amazing colors. From bright green and golden yellow to orange and even bluish gray, these snakes look like something out of a storybook. Their spiky scales make their colors stand out even more, helping them blend into the leaves or look like tiny forest dragons. Before we go, let me tell you about my favorite snake. Well, it's the horned viper, and it's easy to see why. It looks like something straight out of a fantasy world. With its distinctive horn-like scales above its eyes, this snake has a fierce dragon-like appearance that's totally unique. It's not just cool looking though. The horned viper is also a skilled hunter, using its camouflage to blend into sandy deserts or rocky areas and ambush its prey. I love how it moves in a sidewinding motion 
gliding across the sand in such a smooth, mesmerizing way. To me, the Horned Viper is the perfect mix of mystery, beauty, and power, and that's why it's at the top of my list. Nature is full of surprises. There's always something new and amazing to discover. I hope you had fun learning about snakes, and if you love exploring the wonders of creation as much as I do, make sure to subscribe and join me on more awesome animal adventures. There's a whole world of cool creatures out there, and I can't wait to share more with you. See you next time.